Thank you for joining me. Today I will share with you and explain a program that you can use to create 8-bit style sound effects for your games. This program is free to download and use. It is available on Windows and Mac, but I do not see a Linux version. I will explain some of the basic features and how to use this program. This is great if you are working on a game that requires 8-bit style sound effects. There's quite a bit of freedom here, but there are limitations to this program. So this program is called BFXR, and the link to the download will be in the description. When you first open the page here, you'll see a bunch of randomized effects in there. I'll just go ahead and close out of those. You'll hear some of them uh, play. So let's say we want to start with a template. We'll pick up coin as our starting template here, and we'll just see what this sounds like. Now, if we hit the play button, we will hear what the sound effect currently sounds like. We also have play on change, so every time you change a parameter here, you will hear the sound. You can hear the difference when you adjust the frequency. You have the punch, which is how harsh the sound is at the beginning, or overall, it's uh, sort of the attack. The sustain time is the amount of time that the sound effect sort of lingers for. Less sustain time means the sound effect ends sooner. Let's go ahead and increase this and see what it sounds like. You see, as we increase the sustain time, the sound effect lasts longer. We have the attack time. sort of delays when the big punch of the sound effect takes place. We have frequency cut off. It's best to experiment with these yourself and you can hear the differences, but I will explain the ones that might be a little more vague. You can see we can cut down on the harshness on the high end with the frequency cut off. With the frequency slide, you can hear the sound effect slide up or down. Let's go ahead and adjust that and hear what that sounds like. We sure can hear some fun things going on. It's best to adjust the delta slide yourself and see Something that's interesting is the vibrato depth, but the depth generally won't do much without speed. This is the warbliness of the sound effect. Let's increase our sustain time. You can see the speed of the warbliness increases as we increase vibrato speed. You can hear the effect of the harmonics here, which makes it sound like there are other voices there. We also have the pitch jump amount. We can get a secondary pitch. And the pitch jump onset one. This is the time that the jump in the pitch will occur. You can experiment with this and see what works best for you. 
we have repeat speed. We have the flanger sweep, which is an interesting effect. So the other ones you can try for yourself. Now, say you want to save the file, you like your sound effect, you don't want to export the wave just yet. You export the wave when you want to bring the sound effect into your game project. Let's go ahead and click save to disk, save all. Let's just put that in as test. Now any sound effects we have in here will be saved and we can open that save file in BFXR if we want to export the WAV file so we can put the sound effect into our game. We select the one that we want and click export WAV. The sound effect is now ready for us to use in our game, but let's say we want to use multiple sound effects in one sound. Let's go ahead and pick another template. Let's adjust it a little. Now, let's say we want both of those as part of one sound. We now go to our mixer and we'll select power up. Then pick up the coin and you can drag this left and right and you can hear the effect. You can have it play a little later or a little sooner. You can also adjust the volume. Let's say you like the work that you've done here and you want to be able to come back and edit it later. Again, save all. This is our test file here. And let's say we want to export this sound here. Export all waves. We go to our mixer and we export wave. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy having fun playing around with this software. Go ahead and give it a try for yourself. It's totally free to use. The link will be in the description. I hope this has been helpful to you. Good luck on your game development journey. Have fun and make something cool. <laughs> I'll see you around. Bye.